Are you ready to learn how to add payment methods to your Wix website? If so, join me in today's video as we discuss this topic and go through this journey together. Hi, my name is Michael Strauch, owner here at Wix Training Academy, and I'm thrilled to have you along for this video. If you're brand new here, make sure you click that subscribe button down in the bottom right and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss a single upload here on the channel. Also, if you have any questions at all during any point of this video, Hit that comment box down below and ask your question. I'd be happy to answer it for you. Guys, wixtrainingacademy.com, link in the description below, is where you can find all of this content, free courses, free webinars, and more. Go check that out if you haven't already. So now let's talk about how we add payment methods to our Wix website. Well, first and foremost, if you're having a Wix e-commerce store, you want to ensure that you have the Wix e-commerce plan. Now, Wix offers three different e-commerce plans, ranging from $20 a month up to $30 a month. And then there's the mid-level $25 a month plan. Well, you have to look at the features and benefits of both and determine which plan is gonna be best for you. I recommend if you're unsure to just go with that middle plan at $25 a month, but this is needed in order to accept payments on your Wix website as it is the e-commerce plan. Although Wix does not take any commission, anything off the top, nothing like that. So there's no need to worry about any uh, you know payments from Wix off the top. But to actually begin adding payment methods once you've added your Wix stores, which you can go to the editor, click add, and then click Wix stores. That's how you add the physical store. I have lots of tutorials here on the channel showing how to set up a store, including my brand new Wix e-commerce series. But once you've got that set up to add payment methods, we're actually going to go to our Wix dashboard. So we're not going to be in the editor, we're going to be in the dashboard. We're going to go over to the left hand side and we're going to scroll down to settings, right? Once we get to settings, there will be a option on the menu there that says accept payments. When we get there, you're going to see a couple different options. You're going to see PayPal, you're going to see credit and debit card, you're going to see Alipay, you're going to see Square Card Reader, and you're also going to see manual payment options. So now what do each of these mean? Well, credit card, PayPal, and Square Reader, I think you all get the concept behind those. Those are, can be connected, PayPal through email, credit and debit card, they'll have you go through uh, an onboarding process, very simple, very quick and easy, and it goes through Stripe. Uh, so if you don't know what Stripe is, it's similar to PayPal, it's a little bit more developer friendly. And then Square Card Reader is for your card reader, so if you have a Square um, uh, little device, it, it's for that. So you can start charging payments through that. Square Car Reader on your Wix stores. Now the manual and Alipay. Alipay is made for Chinese exclusively. Um, Alipay can be used in the U.S., but it's the uh, Chinese version of accepting payments. And then the manual method. So this is a method if you wanted someone to pick up their actual item, maybe in store or come and pay in cash. Uh, this is what the manual item would look like as far as accepting payments. Now you can do a combo of both. So so you can do like if you have Wix bookings or you have Wix stores, you can do a portion of the payments due online and then a portion's due upfront at the store per se. So let's say you own a little mom and pop store on Main Street, right? So people are going down there, they're buying items, except they, you know, they don't want to get off the couch today. They just want to order online today. So they order online. But they say, you know what, I'll come in this week to pick up this, uh, the actual item, so maybe they avoid shipping. Well, in that case scenario, you can offer a manual payment method, so that way they can just pay once they get to the shop. Guys, these are the different payment methods within Wix. Again, once you have your Wix e-commerce hosting plan, you're set and ready off to the races. You're able to accept payments. And then once you accept and connect one of these payment methods, you are officially set and ready and can start taking live payments on your Wix e-commerce store, or maybe you have Wix bookings, other forms of payments on your Wix website. Doesn't quite member, matter, they all connect to that same payment gateway that you set up in the back end settings in your Wix store. Guys, thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I look forward to catching you on our next one. And don't forget that we're gonna start doing a fan mail Fridays. So if you have any big questions that you'd like to learn a little bit more about Wix, about digital marketing, about content, about design and development, please make sure you comment down below because I'm going to start picking one to two questions each week, breaking them down and answering them here live in video. 
Thank you guys again for watching. If this video helped you out, drop a like down below. Don't forget to comment if you've got any questions whatsoever. And click that little subscribe button in the bottom right of this video. And don't forget to head over to wixtrainingacademy.com. Link right down below in the description where you've got access to tons and tons of free Wix content. Thank you guys again, and I will catch you on our next one.